Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Kotobukiya's Zoid Aggressive Finger Line. We have the Blade Liger Attack Booster, or AB. And uh, this is the fourth release. I'm quite excited for this one. So far, I've been enjoying the Zoid Aggressive uh, Finger Line. Yeah, they're great. They're a bit in the expensive side, but it's hard to come across a good Zoid figure. And I think this, they got it. This is quite nice. So here we go. Now, now it's been a while since I watched uh, Zoids, so uh, this is uh, more of a nostalgic, nostalgic thing for me. On here, uh, on the back, kind of gives us an, uh, a lot of cool action pose, and it uh, seems like we can remove those. Uh, I guess that's what they call it, attack boosters. So that's great, and uh, shows us the different joint system. And for the most part, where we see the gray joints, and pretty much just the same for the other ones. Uh, we have articulation in those, and that's been always great. Nice uh, box here. I got that metallic even here, really shiny. And uh, here we go. So it retails about sixty-eight hundred yen, roughly about seventy dollars. Again, it, it is a bit on the expensive side, but uh, I mean, for what we're getting, it's fairly good. Although I've been seeing the nubs <laughs> from the past, so we'll see how. How it is on this one. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the box. Let's take a look inside. Alright, so uh, we have the Blade Liger here. It looks great. I like the details. The part separation in the collar. It's it's just it's just right. I think that's a better term of putting it. The gold they've used is quite nice also for the claws. And on the blade, really cool. Yep. Alright, so uh, let's go over articulation and starting with the head here, uh, you have the fins here that you can move uh, side to side, even the fins on, on top here. Now for the jaw, you can open that up, quite nice. There's really not much inside there. Some of them have bolt guns or some kind of cannons, but this one is just there. But nonetheless, nice paint job on the, the fangs there, the teeth. Now for the cockpit hatch, you can pop that open. There are no uh, pilots that you can put on this, uh, but you can probably find something to scale. But even then, you might have to chop off the legs because there's no open slot underneath there. It's just skull closed. <laughs> but something that you have to mod. So that's that. Other than that, uh, looking at the, this thing here on the back, you see we have two pipes running down. It's made of that kind of like rubbery, soft plastic. And uh, the tube kind of goes in, inward. So you can uh, move that up. Basically, it's not really a hindrance, but sometimes it kind of forces the head to look down. But I think that's fine. So that's a really cool gimmick, but uh, you can still turn the neck you know, fairly well, even down. So that's it's really interesting design there. You also have this uh, kind of cover here for the back. You can pop that up. And then you have your boosters. Quite great. Moving down, uh, you have your shoulder articulation here. It's, uh, I believe it's a ball joint attached to the torso and a hinge kind of system here to the arm. And this side here, you get a little bit of play, but not so much. You got your legs, joint there, and a joint here. There we go. Quite nice. Uh, this uh, cannon underneath, I don't think you can pop this out. I'm not sure if you can. Uh, it doesn't seem pop to pop out. There's a little kind of... I'm not sure what this is, but it kind of connects to the lower torso. So that's that. Uh, there is a separate piece here, which you can swap out. And uh, this is, I already swapped it out. Though. This is for uh, your base to connect to. Or a stand this is the uh, blank piece more than likely you just want to swap it out uh, they've added uh, two tabs on the side or kind of like uh, a place where you can pop it out easily there we go I just want to show that yeah so it's, it's quite nice other than that moving to the torso uh, you can extend it like all of them you can push it all, it all the way and it kind of locks in place uh, and um, pull it out 
it's just a little bit but oops about this bolt right here it's kind of hard to tell how far you can but I think that's it and uh, this gives you uh, articulation now the previous ones they're kind of like wobbly <laughs> so you kind of just put them in like one pose but it does give you that articulation this one the joints are a little tighter which is nice and I kind of wish there's a little bit uh, like a twist but it's only side to side motion there as you can see I'm fairly sure there is probably more toward the back side here oh wait this that's it All right so the front part you can move side to side the back part you can move up and down that's that's what it is huh Right, so pushing that back in kind of locks the waist together. Now you have these blades, and they're kind of just like connected in that part there. <clears throat> you can move that up and uh, move it outward. Just get the blades onto the side, quite nice. You move it forward too, but it's probably just mostly onto the side. <laughs> so that's great. I've tried uh, pulling this bottom part out, the whole uh, thing, I can't, for some reason, uh, it's just there. It's probably the design that uh, it's not going to be interchangeable if they make more of this. I kind of wish it does, kind of gives a bit, a bit more play value, but, you know, more, more or less. You know, the blade lager is to have, designed to have that. Uh, moving on to the back, here we go. I think the fins here are you can move it a little bit kind of like the front so you got that bit of blade there you got those uh, bolt joints again to the body and a hinge outward gives you a lot of uh, articulation there now uh, for this you got articulation right here you got that nice uh, piston uh, details there quite great articulation there and here as well it's a bolt joint there we go <laughs> so that's great now onto the back side I believe this flap is fixed there you can move that but here you get the tail it's on a, a wire there we go it's a flexible you can uh, mold the shape if you want to but I kind of just prefer it as straight but yeah, it'll probably be better if you kind of Know, have a certain uh, wave to it or something to make it more natural not just straight but there we go that's that and I believe that's uh, pretty much it uh, in terms of uh, articulation now let's add the attack booster uh, to add that one now uh, we have to pop this out it's uh, kind of hard to remove this gray piece here I find that uh, just using a blue tack I would not suggest to use a pliers because you might damage it. So this kind of just wraps it around there and you can just uh, pop it out like this. There we go. Or even a tape. If you have uh, some sort of tape, uh, that will do the same job. There we go. So pop those off. Now one on each side, we're going to attach this. There we go. Same thing on to the other side here. And uh, there we go. Quite interesting. Now this one has a few gimmicks. You can extend this out. You can open this up. And it seems like you can attach something there, but I'm not sure. You can open this up. This is the booster. Two of them. And there's even a flap there that you can open up. Oops. <laughs> Just knocked my camera off. Alright, so yeah, it's quite interesting that they have that gimmick. Same thing here. So, quite nice. Yeah, putting all the boosters. And likewise, since it's attached to the blade, you can put it on to the side. There we go. It's kind of like wings. And you can still have the blade going out. Now it kind of reminds me of Strike Freedom <laughs> or the Freedom, but yeah, it's it's a nifty co concept with that booster, and uh, you can move that around depending on which 
angle you want it. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Uh, unfortunately, there is no uh, swivel onto this whole connector thing, so we, you cannot turn this this way. The only thing you can do is uh, adjust this up and down and pulling it down. But nonetheless, um, it does the job. I think it's fine. All right, close that. There we go. And I believe that's uh, pretty much it for the review. Uh, let me put it on an action base. Alright, so uh, here we go on the action base. I'm using a Tamashi Stage Act 5 by Bandai. And the great thing about the two companies, they're using the same 3mm peg connection. And I'm really happy that they're doing that. On top of that, I just finally realized what that thing is for underneath here. So this one actually holds the connector part. So this one can easily pop off, but having that thing that kind of pushes it up, holds it in place. And that's really nice. I like that the, they've added that. And as much as I <laughs> I thought I know about Zoids, well, not really. There, there's so many iterations of them. This one, so f this is the, with the boosters on. Let me just uh, have that. There we go. I just saw a picture where you actually have to flip this forward and it becomes a cannon. That's where you extend it. So I do apologize early on that I just extend that while it's using the boosters. So uh, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, definitely this is a really nice uh, figure. I highly recommend getting it. Uh, definitely it's uh, quite iconic and having the Blade Liger. I think uh, a lot of people watch Zoids at one point and uh, yeah Blade Liger is like the Zoid it's kinda like how it is with the original Gundam that's gotta have a the original <laughs> anyways uh, that's about it uh, for this review hope you guys like it I got mine from Ami Ami I believe it's still readily available I cannot wait for the Geno Breaker coming out soon and I really hope uh, they make uh, Liger Zero, uh, I think it's one of uh, my favorite uh, Zoid series uh, and along with these other variants and I think that would be a cool <laughs> a cool take on this well we can only hope for and maybe uh, Shadow Fox I think that's another popular Zoids and uh, even Lightning Sykes I like that too. or just just make the whole line up I think uh, it is a possibility uh, but uh, just hopefully the sales on these guys are are doing pretty good. Anyways, that's about it for this review. So until then, this is Beads. Thanks for watching.